Hello, beloved. I'm uh, I'm in a place. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a season or just a period of time when the Lord is so much increasing, and the way I know it is the valley is decreasing. I see so much of my place that's absorbed in him. I have a good friend of mine that uh, keeps saying that the only reason that we still have problems, we are battling things, is the reason is that we are still alive. And other than the obvious in uh, this statement, I started to think about how much depth is in that statement, that affirmation. See, the, the principle, the understanding of oneness is the only way that someone can actually be selfless and though be extremely powerful as one. That's why he's saying that I live no more, but he lives in me. No, this is not annihilation. This is not continuous repentance. This is not nihilism. Now, this is the only way to live as Him, for Him to live, and you to live as one. There's no other way. And I see that because we have we put our imprint on all the problems. They are our problems. They are our pain. Unfortunately, religion, psychology is trying to address and increase the I in the pain. And lots of times the pain increases also. As you own the pain, you are more aware of how big the pain is. When we are giving the cares, when we are giving the pain to Jesus, it's not like, okay, you take them, you die for them, so let's do that. It's the only way, the only way to be free of pain. Because as you own that problem, as you sign on the bottom of that situation, as much as you fight it, that ownership keeps you tied to that problem. You understand that? When you let it go, he takes it and you don't have it. You don't own it. You are free of it. And by the power of God, you have authority to defeat it. By the one by the one. We put under our feet the enemy, the problem, the situation. Lots of times you, you think and you listen to a song that's empowering you and for a moment you feel like I can handle it. But sooner or later, you realize that it's too much for you. 
and you need more empowering more emotional empowering mind empowering good preaching and the solution of the gospel is the cross of Jesus by which I am crucified towards the world and the world is crucified to me that is overcoming now it's it's not giving it up because you know you don't know what to do because you realize that's the right thing just give it to somebody else that that's not it it's a will it's a powerful will to submit everything that you own and belongs to you to take it and submit it to him that's what he did in Gethsemane that takes extreme power to be weak extreme power to be weak yes the power to be dead to the problem and alive to God you see that that is the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ so much empowering of the energy of the soul of the mind of the body that's not his intention he doesn't want to improve you he finished you and the new you his name is Jesus he is your life can you see that can you hear my words how did Jesus live his life on this earth it is not me these are not my works these are not my words the son can do nothing by himself it's the father doing that do you understand that I'll be so strong now I'm so strong I'm so ready I'm gonna go and heal Bartimaeus I'm gonna heal so many blind people in the name of no oh, the son can do nothing and again this is not that weakness that we talk about see we are not powerful enough to really do what God wants us to do but we are not weak enough to get us out of the way do you see that weak enough to get yourself out of the way so he can be the healer so he can be the power the miracle doer that's what Jesus did he learned that obedience to be out of the way to be just that vessel that father living kingdom flows through him and opening the mouth stretching the hand it's the power the immense unconceivable power of the living God coming through him that's why I don't agree with that understanding that he was like us humans waiting for a gift because that's so limited 
the generations of Christians that did that and they were limited with what the gift, when the gift would come, how the gift would manifest. Now that was not my Lord. He got out of the way. He absolutely submitted to the Father and he tells you that without him separated from him you can do nothing maybe you're doing things but what it means is under on all the things that you're doing it's written a big nothing because the one in front of all the zeros the one it's the one making the difference I know you hear me and this is so powerful so life-changing the cleansing that he's doing for me is not necessarily of the things of the flesh even those can jump in and try to dirty your mind and preoccupy your soul and distractions. But lots of time that the Holy Spirit is taking is to deal with self. You get to a place, you get through a trial, and the self is so minimized. I want you to hear the Lord. When you get to the place where the self is minimized, do not desire to increase self, to increase and show this how powerful you are. That's not it. Unplug, just let him be. Because as he is, then you are. You understand? As he is, so you are. It's not just a declaration. It's as you are not. He is you. <laughs> He knows that. He knows he is. But you don't know it while you have control of it. But now you hear the truth. Now you're ready. Maybe it's deep inside you. Deep inside you. Maybe it's just self-defense. Maybe it's such a deep, deep hurt that you had. And you learn that you have to stand up for yourself. You have to get up and say no and say yes and do this. Maybe self try to live in spite of all these things. But today... You hear the Lord. You hear the Spirit of God whispering inside you and saying, I am your life. I am your strength. I am your peace. I am your joy. I am your love. I am your present, your future. I'm your life. Let me be. Maybe we didn't ascend to another step today. He wanted me to relay this to you. But it's it's fine. Just worship Him with me. Just worship Him. Just, just let go. Let all those places 
where you keep so tight so you won't lose so you won't miss so you won't take a wrong way make a wrong decision you hold on so tight I want you to surrender father is a son I surrender to you the son of man can do nothing of himself you are my strength I love to submit to you you are my beginnings and you are my end you are the one that starts and you are the one that finishes you are the author and you are the finisher everything I am and everything I have it's in you my father together with all that are listening with all the hearts we're coming into one mind and one accord surrendering to you father this is the moment and the time that you are waiting for let the love of the father fill you right now let his love overwhelm you in all your soul i feel the presence of the lord I feel this place I feel the room where you are right now it's holding you close to him you cannot lose you already lost it all and you are winning it all all it's him wow love you so much increase it's coming to you the increase of the life of Christ in you like you never experienced before it's flowing inside you is blessing you it's changing you ah uh, it's changing you into him this blessing it's not about you it's about him in you and you'll see the difference enjoy the difference it's so freeing and so joyful yes Jesus you are alive in me <laughs>